Hello grade 10s, let's jump right into this video which is going to be all about term 3 topics that you can expect for grade 10 pure maths. Before I start going through the term 3 topics, I just want to mention that the order of the topics that I'm going to be mentioning in this video go according to what is mentioned in the grade 10 ATPs or annual teaching plans. And this is basically the schedule that is published by the Department of Basic Education that teachers follow. So please note that your school may cover topics in a different order. So that means that some of these topics that I mentioned in this video may have already been covered, or maybe you didn't get to some term one and term two topics that will be covered first. So please just take note that this video is going according to the ATPs. Now some very exciting news, I have created a free document for you guys where I list each topic in detail. I will be showing screenshots of this document in this video. Here you can see the cover page where I mention each topic briefly and then I go into it in more detail. Each topic gets its own page and you can find this document on my website missmartins.co.za. I will link it above and I will link it down below in the description so that you guys can basically use it like a checklist. That's how I've made it. So you can print it, stick it in your book and tick off the topics as you cover them in class or you can use it when you study, kind of like a checklist to see what you still need to go through. Right, let's jump into topic number one which is trigonometry. Now trigonometry was already covered this year, but the ATP specifically state that in term three, you're going to be focusing on trigonometry and 2D questions or 2D problems. Now basically this is when they give you a right angle triangle, they may give you lengths of some sides, they may give you some angles, and they want you to determine the lengths or the heights or the distances in a right angle triangle using trig ratios or you will be expected to determine the size of angles, okay, in a right angle triangle. So it's basically using concepts that you already learned, but applying it to 2D problems. You will also be working with angle of elevation and depression. And now again, if you've already done this topic completely and fully, and your teachers decided not to revisit it in term three, then that's perfectly fine. This is just what the ATP states. So how can you prepare for this topic? We'll go over the great trigonometry, grade 10 trig that you've done so far. I will link my intro to trig video down below. So you go watch that if you need a little bit of a recap. I will also be uploading more trig videos this term. So keep an eye on my channel and subscribe if you haven't yet. Then we've got topic two, which is statistics. Remember, this is just a screenshot of this document. So you need to know things like mean, median, mode. You're also going to be working out measures of dispersion, like range and things like that. You'll also be working with group data. There's a lot more um, on this table. So you're going to need to go download the document to see the rest of the checklist. But statistics is coming up next. And the way that you can prepare for this topic is go over any and all the data handling that you did in grade eight and grade nine. So go over concepts such as mean, median, mode, range, how to draw graphs, anything that you may have covered under the topic data handling up to this point. Then we've got topic three. Now, topic three is probability. It's a very cool topic and I, most schools do not cover this in grade eight or grade nine. There's a lot that you need to know for this topic and it's going to be new for most of you. So again, go to my document for the full list of subtopics. This is just a few of the subtopics. And how can you prepare for this topic? Well, if you have done any probability in grade eight or grade nine, go over that. Or just search on YouTube a very basic video on how to calculate the probability of an event occurring. So for example, if you have a dice, go over the probability of rolling a two on the dice, for example. The reason why it's a good idea to go through a example before or watch a video on the topic before or read your textbook in advance is so that when you're sitting in class and your teacher is discussing this new topic that you've never done before, the terms are already familiar to you. So immediately the topic and the work doesn't seem as overwhelming and as scary. Then topic four is finance and growth. That is what they call the topic in the ATPs. Basically, it's financial maths. Okay, so how can you prepare for this topic? Go over all the financial maths from grade eight and grade nine, including simple interest, how to calculate simple interest, how to calculate your final amount, how to calculate your principal amount, higher purchase if you did that in grade nine, which you should have, compound interest, 
and practice grade nine questions. Once again, when you get to the grade 10 work, it'll make a massive difference if you've already recapped everything from grade eight and grade nine and you familiarize yourself with those formulas and with those concepts once again. And remember to subscribe to my channel for help with all of these topics this term. The description for the videos to watch to help you prepare for next term will be down below. But remember, I will be posting more on all of these topics so please subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to go check out that free document in my website mm -hmm.